Okay, so today's webinar is going to be given by myself, Hannah Blacknell. I am the application scientist here at Palin Test. We will focus on using chemio heavy metals to test for lead quickly and reliably in field. So how can we use chemio heavy metals to monitor lead contamination of water, both in field and in the lab setting too? Chemio Heavy Metals is Palin Test's newest sensor instrument and uses our patented sensor technology to analyze water for the presence of heavy metals. It's an EPA approved method for testing lead and can be used in field just as comfortably as it can be used in a lab setting. At the moment, we have sensors available for the measurement of lead and cadmium, and our R&D department is constantly increasing the sensor range we have here at Palin Test. The range that we are able to test for, for both cadmium and lead, allows for the users to test below and around the consent limit with accuracy and precision they can trust, and also allows them to test higher samples too for applications where the allowable limit is higher, like in mining or industrial or environmental testing. If anyone missed it, then the previous webinar on the comparison of chemio technology to photometry is available on our website. So some of you may have previously seen that webinar which introduced you to the chemio platform and how it compares with photometry and went through a little on how chemio disinfection sensors work. Chemio heavy metal sensor technology is a little different in the way it works but the general idea that all the calibration has been done for you and the method is easy to use with limited or no training still applies. The heavy metals test worked through something known as ASV or anodic stripping photometry. During the first stage of testing, a voltage is applied to the electrode, which causes the metal ions to stick to the sensor electrode as demonstrated here, like that. And then as the voltage is gradually changed, these ions will come back off the sensor causing a current change. The lead ions will come off at a specific voltage, so the point at which the ions jump off the sensors let us know what kind of ions they are and this is used to calculate the concentration of lead in water. So we can see an animation of exactly what is happening inside the Cameo heavy metals instrument here so you can see the voltage is changing and there's a current change as things jump off it. So as I said before the method is still easy to do one of the main differences is that with the heavy metals test we provide disposable crush rods to crush the provided soliprep tablets and disposable sample vessels with the sensors. This means that safe disposal is much easier and cross-contamination is also much harder, increasing the reliability of the results you can achieve. So the method, you fill both the disposable and the reusable sample vessels with your sample. The sensor will only go into the disposable vessel, which is the smaller one, and the th only the thermometer will go into the L-shaped area on the reusable one then that prevents any contamination, but still allows you to take the temperature reliably. As with the dis disinfection instrument, Chemio uses a 3D calibration, which takes into account the temperature of the sample, rather than just an average compensation like in some other techniques. Once the sample's been added, you add a soliprep tablet and crush this and stir it to mix before inserting a sensor into the instrument, inserting both vessels into the instrument and closing the lid. The instrument will perform the test and the result will be displayed on screen. Chemio has a number of features that are designed to make the user's life easier when carrying out testing. All data is recorded and stored on the instrument memory test log, which can then be downloaded to a computer network. This is ideal for auditing and to reduce the amount of paperwork required for in-field measurements. You're also able to add information to each result. Things like the time and the date are automatically stored, but you could also add GPS data, users, user information, details about the test location, et cetera. This can be done through labels typed into the notes section, or you can create your own barcodes with information contained in them and scan those using the scanner at the back. Chemia requires no glassware to do the testing. And the sensor technology uses ASV, which is electronic and so unaffected by the surroundings, the color or the turbidity of the water or any floating particles. The method is hassle-free, easy to follow without any real training and requires no input from the user to obtain results. Where is Chemio heavy metals currently being used? So where we've seen real benefits to customers is where they're using Chemio in field. This is where it was initially designed for, 
PEMEO heavy metals can be used on site to allow you to get real time monitoring of a situation and facilitate immediate remedial action if lead contamination is found. PEMEO is a cost effective and time effective way to understand the quality of water in terms of lead contamination. Chemio heavy metals allows quick and correct actions to be made to limit the human exposure to lead and prevent there being long lasting damage to a community due to lead poisoning. Chemio heavy metals is currently being used in fields, but also in labs to significantly increase the testing capacity. In this setting, Chemio is a more cost effective, both in terms of initial investment, but also in terms of the running costs of performing the tests and maintaining the instrument. Additionally, the alternative is ICPMS, which is a very technical process that requires highly skilled users to perform it, whereas Chemio Heavy Metals can give reliable, accurate and precise data with a much less skilled user. So the modern lab method, as I've just mentioned, is ICPMS, or Inductively Coupled Plasma Mass Spectrometry, which I use during my PhD. And it's complex to, to both do the test, but also often to interpret the results as well. It caused me many a headache. What we can see here is that a comparison of the Chemio ASV method with the ICPMS method. So this graph here shows that there is very good agreement between the two results showing that you can achieve comparable results to that you can get from a lab using the Cameo Heavy Metals technology for analysing lead. Now, one thing that is important to note is whether you need to report total lead or just dissolved lead. If you do need to report total lead, then you will need to do a digestion step um, before you put the sensor in uh, and analyse the samples, just so that you get all the available lead ready to be analysed. So in summary, Chemio Heavy Metals is an EPA approved technique that can be used both as an infield technique to give you real time monitoring or in a lab setting to cost effectively increase capacity for lead testing. It offers accurate and precise data, but using a method that is easy to perform even for an unskilled user. The single use sensors each have a barcode printed on them to prevent the need for calibration manually. The data collected is stored and easily auditable. And now that brings us to the close of the show.